Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go from June 10th through the 16th. Uh, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Continue to do so. It really helps the channel. Definitely commenting below and sharing. Okay, so pull some cards. Here we go. So, Virgo. So this is going to resonate either for love and romance or for career and finance or maybe for both. Virgo, you may have started something, whether it's a creative project, definitely a creative project or something that you create, something that is, you know, inherent and internally in you that comes from you. Um, not to say that you don't have any outside source that could help you foster the creativity, but it's a creative project or this is a relationship, a new relationship or friendship that you've started. There will be, it's an approaching conflict in this project or this relationship. It says that luck is in your favor, but keep in mind that, that luck, the, the will of fortune luck is out of our control so it looks like there may be a Virgo praying for things to turn out how they want things to turn out maybe even in what they have established with someone they want things to change but there is something being held back from you information um, being held from you there is also maybe a Virgo or there is someone else in the dynamic who is not um, admitting a truth to themselves, admitting how they feel about a particular thing, place, person, right? That That is the opposition, that is the conflict. Um, in this creative project, it says have strength in, in continuing the efforts, the work, the learning. Um, something about philosophy of life or, or the philosophy of maybe th this is something your perspective is changed in regards to like there may be someone learning about the esoteric excuse me the esoteric um, hidden occult knowledge things of those natures there may, may be someone who is coming into a new understanding of, of once again philosophy philosophy of life this may have something to do with your creative project that you may be embarking on overall it's the three of pentacles it says that you're thinking your thoughts Maybe even early childhood thoughts. Um, you may be rebuilding them or restructuring, examining how you, what you used to think, and now what is, or or what you are determining is your own philosophy, your own truth. That's for some of you. It could be for all of you. Over, overall, this creative project is going to be successful. If you have the strength to keep putting the work and the effort into it. Uh, this could be something you're doing on your own. This could be you merging with a corporation or, or a new job. It says just have the strength to, to build upon it, whatever it may be. If this is love and relationship, um, you may be separated from someone who is on the outskirts someone who you are not in a relationship with these cards they have the strength in pursuing this reduce the ego because 
this is an opportunity for you to have a partnership um, a relationship that will lead to happiness and contentment don't give up here this may be a person who you have children with who you think fondly of you have fond memories of someone from your past this may be someone that you're thinking about making the choice to um, return either to them or, or them to you You are analyzing a system, a system that you've created for yourself. You're analyzing the past with this particular person. Once again, the Seven of Pentacles, we have the past. Whatever efforts you have put into project or relationship, um, you are now at a, at a place of trying to gain control and clarity over this so that you can move forward if it's not working you want to cut away and prune cut away what is not growing um this may be with someone who you have children with because you're maybe separated from a situation or a relationship that's going to bring you a lot of abundance Whether it's project or relationship, abundance is here. But it's only for the strong. It's only for those who will make the necessary change. Who will stand strong in their convictions. Knowing that it will allow them. Or it will land them in the place that they want to be. Don't be, be unwavering. If change is what you want. By way of hard work and effort. Also, luck is luck is here, but it's it's not how you want it to turn out. Change your thought patterns in regards to maybe old cycles and old ways. Some of you are doing it with three pentacles here. Um, Virgo, it just looks like a week of really meditating. Also, four of swords, meditating, getting into a place of. Um, examining the foundation that you created for yourself maybe even working on it a bit more or working to release um, there, there will be some conflict that will arise in a relationship will create a project but the advice here is to stand strong in your convictions whatever it may be that you want out that you want to work on that you want to you fill in the blank but the um, the Virgo's advice is that if you do that, you get complete abundance. You get um, a relationship that leads to a lot of happiness and contentment. Okay, Virgo, um, thank you for tuning in. I hope that this reading resonated with you, for you. Um, you can book a reading just like this. Go over to the website. Make sure you use the coupon code below. Thank you and take care, guys.